Centres was officially opened today, creating 50 new city centre jobs. The plaza is owned by Indian property developer Diljit Rana, who now plans to build more than a total, uh, more, more hotels at a total of around £14 million, which will provide jobs for 400 people. Maggie Taggart reports. The plaza in Brunswick Street, with 84 bedrooms, employs 50 people. It costs £3.5 million, half a million of which was paid by the International Fund for Ireland. Diljit Rana came to Belfast in 1966 to run a cafe and, despite setbacks, his business has continued to expand. Next, he plans to bring 300 extra bedrooms to the Greater Belfast area. I'm planning to build three other hotels, one at Shawsbridge, which would be a four to five star hotel, costing in excess of 80 million pounds. Two in University Street, those will be catering for a different type of market. One in University Street will be more like an American uh, motel type of a hotel. There's another older property in University Street which is architecturally a beautiful property. It has been used as a private college for nearly 50 years. I bought that property early last year. I want to restore that property and open a more club type of a hotel. And are you sure there is the business for those rooms? I'm sure the business will grow very rapidly. The tourist industry in Northern Ireland will grow very rapidly. Northern Ireland is going through a major transformation. See, economic development in Northern Ireland was held back because of troubles for 20 years. Now, now the confidence has come back into the economy. It will try, the economy will try and catch up that 20 years of uh, like being in a limbo. The only other new Belfast hotel has just been completed by a Chinese restaurateur. So why is it that these major tourism ventures are being led by foreigners rather than by Northern Ireland people? I think Northern Ireland people are enterprising, but a lot of them just want to play safe. See, to take enterprise, you have to take chances. You are taking risk. You can't be both. You can't be playing safe all the time and being enterprising. The Duke and Duchess of Gloucester have spent the day on a visit to the province.